Hello lovely creatives, Vivian here again from Vivian's Creativity Lab. Um, today I'm going to be doing something uh, which is one of my favourite things to do and that is creating a piece of digital art. Now I usually use a coral paint shop which I've been using for quite a few years now um, but today I wanted to try and make a, um, a digital art piece in Canva. So, as you can see, I'm on the Canva site. Um, I'm going to be using the free Canva images for this project. So, let's get started. Um, first of all, I'm going over to Facebook post. Um, it's, it's not that large a canvas, but it suits me for this tutorial. Okay, so we've got a blank canvas here and um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you what we're going to make. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to make a, um, a digital art print. Okay, so I'm back on my, um, my other Canva tab and I'm going over to Elements. As I live in Italy, I'm not sure if you knew that, um, I love anything to do with fashion. Um, I think, you know, Italy is one of the main places for fashion. So, let's look up. Uh, did you see that? I'm on Elements over here and I'm going to type in Fashion Model and click Okay, um, as you can see, we've got photos, graphics, videos, etc. Um, I'm going to go up to the top, can you see? And I'm going over and I'm going to look for a free subject. Okay, so here we are. And photos, that's a nice photo. See all. And let's see if I can find the lady I used before. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, if you click on the three dots, uh, woman with black square panel grayscale image. And this is uh, from Pexels which is a, uh, a really good site for uh, images. And it is by, the photo is by Bureau, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, Tuluma Chen. Tuluma Chen. Okay, so a shout out to, um, to this person who has kindly uploaded to Pexels for free. Okay, um, if you want to find out more about the licensing, you can click here on the little I and it says licensing made simple. Basically, um, they always want you to modify uh, any photos or elements that you use. Okay, so that it becomes your own. Um, in fact, I, uh, ba, 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 where is it? No, I've lost it. Okay, so let me click on this lady and I'm going to bring her over here and I am going to drag, left click, held down. I'm going to drag the image down. And I am going to place her there. Okay. Fine. Okay. The next thing I did, I added some um, nice uh, swirly chiffon type scarf effects. So I'm going to stay on elements. Uh, ba, ba, ba. What did I look for? Uh, let's write a scarf effects. Okay, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Let me go back to my other. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Graphics. Graphics. 
worlds. Mm -mm -mm. No, it's not there. But I can always find something a little bit different to use. Abstract lines, wavy lines. Let's look at wavy lines. There we are. That is a pro element, though. I didn't want to use a pro element. Let me just see who that is by. Wavy lines. Oh, free for Canva Pro by Panna Design. Okay, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm going back to the top. Free. That's sort of similar. And that, I think, will do. Let's have a look at the three dots. Abstract line, rainbow. View more by La La La. Okay, so let's go for that one. It's going to turn out a little bit different to the one I did. And I am going to pull it across. I'll pull it right across. In fact, I quite like that. Before, with the one I did, I actually um, went on the uh, the wavy line and I went up to position and I positioned the scarf, let's call it a scarf, <laughs> backward, which puts it behind the lady, but it's also gone behind the um, the background. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to click on the lady. I'm going to go up to Edit Photo, Background Remover. Now this is only on the Pro version, the Background Remover. And as you can see, the scarf now goes all the way along. Okay, but it goes behind the lady. So if I just go live on the scarf, go back up to position and position forward as you can see it comes forward uh, I actually I quite like it like that um it's not standing out as much as I'd like so I'm going to edit the image see a pop sea blue sea green Mm. I'm not keen on the mono colour. Blush. Okay, but just to, to give you an idea, I'm going to go back. I'm going to the top, undo, undo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the scarf, right click, copy, and I am going to right click again and paste and as you can see I'll bring it up a bit into focus as you can see um, it stands out a bit better I probably won't be able to line it up perfectly but I'm moving it around so that at least we get the effect that shows I might even right click paste again and make it even darker okay so basically they're just on top of each other okay so that's the first thing I did and what I could do now is I'm going coming down here to the zoom out I'm going to left click and as you can see, a little pop-up comes up and it says group. So I am going to group. And this means that I can move it around as a single entity. Okay, if you need to ungroup, you can just go back up and ungroup. Okay, so let me go onto it again. Right click, copy, paste. And as you can see, ah, it took the lady as well. Okay, so I am going to go up to the top, undo, undo. Okay, that will do for now. And I will just add 
a new one and bring it down here. That's quite good. Let me see that it's lined up. I'm moving in slightly. That is lovely. And now I'm going to do something to jazz it up a bit. I'm going back to Elements and I'm going to look for uh, ba -ba, black is thick. Okay, I'm coming up to the top. Filter, free. Remember to do this, otherwise you'll be using Pro Elements. Uh, ba -ba -ba, black flower. Okay, I want a black flower. There we are. And I believe that was the flower I used. Let's have a look, going up to my other fashion model. Uh, uh, uh. It's similar. See all. Let's have a look at all of them because I want a nice flower to go round her eye. Okay, that's the one I used. So let's click on that one. Um, I'm going to left click, drag it in a little bit. What I'm going to do now, which I forgot to do earlier and you didn't remind me, is go onto my model and I'm going to go up here to flip, flip horizontal. Okay, so let's... Because they say subjects should be facing into a picture. Actually, I don't, I think I'm going to keep it as it was. I'm going back to undo. I quite like it like that, even though she's looking out of the picture. So we'll leave that as it is. And I'm coming up here. And the flower, I'm going to place over her eye. Let's zoom in a bit. And here, can you see me scrolling at the bottom here? I can scroll until I'm happy with it. And I'm left clicking. I don't want her to look as if she's got a moustache. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. Um, on the other one I did, let's go back to it. I had two flowers. So I'm going to go live on the flower. Right click, copy, paste. There we are. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And I am going to flip it vertical. Did you see that? And I'm going to bring it down here. It's a bit tricky. You've got to, you know, sort of work on it a little bit. With my arrows on my keyboard, I'm going to move it to where I want it. It's a little bit big. So with my arrow. Okay, let's have a look at it. Coming back down here. There we are. We can't see the scarf much here. So I am going to go live on the second scarf, flip it, horizontal, lovely. And I am also going to right click inside, copy, paste, and try to adjust it so that it's more or less the same size. There we are. Okay, I'm going to bring it out a bit because it's not to the end of the line. Okay, and I quite like the look of that. Um, I'm also going to uh, add a flower, the same one. I'm going to change the colour up here to white. Remember, it gives your document colours. So it's white, you can't actually see it. And I'm going to drag it onto the bag, the purse in American, I think. OK. 
Okay, let's have a look at that. That looks as if I've positioned it perfectly. Okay, so let's view it. Full screen, go down to the right here, present full screen. And there we have our lady. Okay, you can't actually see her uh, because the, the screen recording is just for part of my, um, my monitor. Okay, lovely. So, press S on your keyboard to go back. And there is our lady digital art. Um, quite minimalist. A few colours though, which I quite like. Let me just show you the original that I did. I'm not sure which I prefer, to be honest. Let's go back and have a look. Hmm. Sometimes the second one can turn out better than the first. Okay, lovely creatives. I hope you enjoyed that. So remember to go and play around in Canva to make your own digital art prints. Uh, it's really fun and uh, you can spend quite a lot of time being absorbed in this art form, which I find really relaxing. Okay, that's all for now. Take care. Bye-bye.